Exploring your college options is an exciting prospect. Looking to your future and deciding on the college that will get you there is a big decision to make. As a consumer, you want to make a wise choice when it comes to your educational investment. Just like buying a car, it's important to make sure the school of your choice meets your needs, has the features you want, and is affordable. What's one of the best ways to see if a college is the best fit for you? Take it for a test drive. Hi, my name is Margaret Meek, and this is How to Make College Visits Successful. You have done your homework to find some schools that have the program or major that you are interested in. They fall into your financial constraints and these schools meet some of your other needs. While a school might check the boxes that are important to you, you also want to know that the school has the right feel for you. Feeling comfortable and secure on a campus and in how it supports you as a learner often translates into long-term success in your education. And given that picking and attending a college is a long-term commitment, you should be taking an in-depth look at places that may become your future home. The fact of the matter is that colleges want you to come visit. They want to show off their campus and all its amenities, facilities, and services. And they want you to make an informed decision about which campus suits you best. Right now, campuses are increasing the virtual access to campus on their website. A walking tour of the campus is available with some frequently asked questions being addressed. While this may not give you a feeling as to how comfortable you will be on campus, the tours do offer a chance to see the entire campus without any cost involved. You can review the videos and replay them as you decide if there is something about that campus that attracts you or makes you have second thoughts. As you watch the video, take notes on questions you have or as entries into your pro-con list related to that campus. These virtual tours are an excellent way to make sure you spend your college visit travel budget wisely. When we talk about in-person visits, we want to caution that if you want access to campus buildings, the admissions office, and having a chance to ask questions of the financial aid staff, you should contact the admissions office to schedule your visit. With coronavirus restrictions, access around many campuses is restricted. So to make the most of your time, contact admissions office to sign up for a tour and to find out about any campus restrictions. How do you get started with an in-person college visit? And when should you go? As an easy launch pad, it can be a good idea to start with a campus that you're close to in proximity. Even if a nearby campus is not necessarily on your college list, it can help you realize certain characteristics that are important to you. For example, does the size of the campus and its population energize you, or does it seem overwhelming? Are people friendly and helpful? What amenities and activities are available? Once you have a baseline to make comparisons, you get a better idea of your needs and wants. You and your family can start visiting campuses anytime, working a visit into a family vacation or during a school break. To maximize early planning, initial visits can be helpful in freshman or sophomore years. Campuses have traditionally opened their doors wide with special visit days in fall for seniors and in spring for juniors. To really see a campus in action, it is best to visit an educational institution while classes are in session. This may require you to weigh the benefit of visiting against the cost of missing a day of school. A simple tour of campus will typically include an information session hosted by the admissions office and a walking tour of campus. Or you may be able to register for a more comprehensive event, which will include information from admissions, financial aid, possibly professors, and or a panel of students, and often includes lunch where students dine. Many colleges also hold events that highlight certain programs like engineering, nursing, business, or events for certain populations. When traveling to an out-of-state college or university, be sure to check with the admissions office to see if they provide any support for your visit, such as lodging recommendations or discounts, and possibly even transportation. As mentioned previously, getting the most out of your visit means that in addition to soaking up the atmosphere, you should be exploring and asking questions. Come prepared and investigate what schools have to offer. 
Some common questions include asking about admissions requirements, class sizes, financial aid and scholarship opportunities, retention and employment rates, dorm and dining options, recreation and support services, study abroad research and internship opportunities, disabilities and accommodation supports, to name a few. While having a list is helpful, please do your best to listen to your instincts and your intuition as to whether a campus suits you. A number of lists of questions that could be asked on a campus tour are presented on our website. These questions will allow you a chance to think through your own list of information you wish to collect on your tours. Lastly, remember that it is best to have multiple colleges to choose from. As you visit places, take pictures and keep notes on factors that are important to you. This will help you make your comparisons later. Going to college is a big commitment and making campus visits is one of the best ways to make an informed and thoughtful choice about your future. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.